Hello everybody, welcome back to Blast the Process. We are raising SEG awareness all weekend, playing nothing but SEGA games. Here is the most SEGA of all games, the most processed blasts, even though it was on the SEGA CD. This is Sonic CD for Sonic Block. We have Matthew 10 Wilson here. How you doing, buddy? Um, the nerves are slowly kicking in, but I should be raring to go. I'm hopefully oh, showing that uh, Tails can indeed go fast, uh, contrary to popular belief. Hashtag Tails block. Yep. So, without further ado, you can go ahead and take it away, count down whenever you're ready, whatever you'd like. Alright, uh, as they said, uh, my name is Matthew Tim Wilson, uh, we're doing Sonic CD today, uh, now. Uh, we're doing so uh, Tails beat the game, because Tails is best fox. Don't... Tails is best fox. Uh, and I've got Cronoon as the uh, commentator. Uh, just go quickly put him up as much as he as can to uh, help me uh, explain certain things and to uh, well explain things better than I can because sometimes I tongue twist myself like I'm doing right now. Anyway, uh, the countdown will start and I will go whenever I say go. So, five, four, three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Alright, good luck, man. Thank you. Right. Uh, this is Poultry Panic, uh, the first uh, stage of the game. Kind of easy. It's really to show you what the controls are. Uh, I will be. I'll see you going as far as I can. I'll see you using Tails' flight to my advantage. Right, so Tails doesn't have the peel out like Sonic does, so he has to rely on spin dashes, but what he does have is his flight, which allows him to cross over a lot of levels and even get this thing called fast flight. Um, and super flight too. Right, there's both. Uh, so he'll be getting um, super flight here on act two, or zone two. And, I'll, uh, I'll be doing it at a, a uh, slightly different bit than uh, the world record does. Purely. Okay, I was expecting that to happen. It was kind of a weird jump, but uh, kind of a little tight window to get this one. Yep. Uh, it's also off screen. Ah, I didn't quite get it. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, uh, you speed choose, um, and you just take your flight all the way home. Yeah, so, uh, that's what yeah, you're supposed right to do, You yeah. can bounce <laughs> off, uh, the box, but you can also jump off anywhere and go fast. Sorry, go ahead. Um, I was, obviously I didn't really want to die at the very start, but, um, the, the way that I get ready for that jump is, uh, as you see, I go, uh, Left, right, left, right twice, and I must have uh, only done it once since I overshot the jump and died. But uh, here's Punch Panic 3 uh, with quite easily the easiest boss in Sonic history. It's already done. Turns out Robotic's weakness is his butt. I mean, he does have Stop. that thick booty, so. <laughs> it's true, I mean, it is. Whew. I mean, Sonic 2 is also proof of this, you know, we just saw that. Yeah, to be Interesting fair. Interesting glitch, yeah, there. Well, I guess you're just... yeah, okay. No, this there's the uh, actual game doing that, I'm not touching the uh, controller at all. I love, I love doing that glitch. It's so, it's so okay. weird to do. <laughs> So collision chaos stages are pretty crazy, um, but uh, Tail is just—he doesn't care. He's just flying over it. Whatever, he's gone. He's out of here. Um, but it's a—it's basically the casino slash carnival type stage. Lots of bumpers and and flippers and all sorts of uh, crazy action. Uh, There's a reason will... why I chose Tails instead of Sonic to submit to this marathon. This zone is why. <laughs> yeah, as Sonic, there's some pretty nasty stuff that can happen here. Um, there's a uh, 
a close to a frame perfect trick on Act 2 here. Um, that tilt just completely avoids, but Sonic, it pretty much should go for it's like a 7 second time save, but Tails, um, yeah, uh, for both of these stages he can just pretty much just fly yep. over uh, almost all of it. I was Ooh. like, as soon as I didn't get a ring there, I was like, oh no, I know exactly what's happening, and it did. <laughs> okay, there you go, got a ring this time. Didn't want to do that, but alright. Oh, that. Wow, I'm just nailing this stage. Come on. Right, so even with Tails, Collision Chaos can still really uh, be hard to do at times. But uh, if you think I'm out of the woods now. No. 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 No, this. This next boss is uh, probably one of the trickiest bosses in the game. Um, we're going to play Sonic Spinball for a little while this time with Tails. Uh, he does have the advantage of flight. He has a disadvantage of having to play the stage, though. So, um, so uh, once he gets into the boss arena here, he has to pretty much get to Robotic as quick as he can. Um, very nice. Nicely 15 done. in the mouth, and I'm actually really happy about that. That's, that's actually, 15 is a really good time. 16, uh, sub 16, that's an amazing time for this stage. Uh, Ravana can really mess you up here, and it did not happen, so that's, that's oh. awesome stuff by Matthew here. Um, going to the next stage, we're going to have another uh, semi glitch trick. Um, this is the dreaded nope slope. Maybe it's a yep slope. There you go. <laughs> I don't know where that noise was, but <laughs> just squeaked it. <laughs> um, so, subpixels are a thing in this game too. Uh, Sonic can use his pill out to not have to worry about it, but Tails does spin dashes, so depending on the speed and the subpixels, you can just get stopped by slope there and drop into the water, hence nope slope. Um, but he just got through it. And uh, just barely just right. used the collision, got into the stage, and pretty simply just cleared through it. Uh, zone two is gonna be uh, glitchless um, unless he decides to go for a uh, time travel strats. I don't. Or, or would you be doing that? Uh, I still haven't properly learned that. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's it's... there's still uh, ways that I can improve my actual PP without doing that. So. Even though it's, I have got fairly good PB now. Fair enough, because like it, it does actually lose time RTA. Um, it is an IGT time saving uh, tactic because when you are time traveling, um, you the time is actually stopped for a little bit while gameplay resumes when you're the new uh, time. So yeah, time area. Space time. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty simple stage. The yeah, space yeah. time continuum. It's it gets it's really weird in this game. You know, yeah. All sorts of places. There's like two futures. Like you can change the future. I've never heard of it. It's weird. That sounds really metal, man. Uh, your yeah. Right. Uh, I told them it's free. <laughs> <laughs> Just moving on, uh, Toad's Tempest 3 is fairly easy once you know what you're doing, especially with Tails, since, well, the power yeah. of his Tails is too much. Um, so as Sonic, uh, you actually have to use like audio cue or visual cue or something to kind of time your hits against the bubbles against the boss to uh, manage to clear like three or four bubbles and hit him. But Tails... Tails, tails, tails. What does he have that Sonic doesn't? And Can anyone say in chat? Like <laughs> A 43 is actually really good. It basically went perfect. Yeah. Yeah, uh, actually, most of the time save in that stage comes to the stage itself. Yeah. And he did it pretty nicely. Alright, 
So, uh, I believe, um, until Quartz Quadrant 2, uh, this is pretty much the same for both Sonic and Tails. Um, I'm not familiar with which route he goes through at the end. Okay, he goes bottom route. Um, there's different ways of going. Bottom route's pretty fast and safe. I believe it's the fastest, but it's been a while since I've been in it. I think it is game, the so. fastest if you properly do it. I've, I've just I've just been used to doing it anyway. Oh, a 24 is fairly good. Uh, I think you can get a 23 if you're perfect, but a 24 is really con uh, is really consistent for me. Nice. Okay, so he uh, stopped there because he was avoiding a spring in the ground. That uh, would have sent him up to lose a bunch of time. Grab the speed shoes here. It's a nice straightaway here. And a bunch of enemies too, so it has to do some rolling. And uh, Tails can take this uh, shoot up because he can fly all the way over this uh, that gap there to skip that whole section. And uh, clear that was 31. Which is fairly good. Uh, I can uh, get sub 30 pretty uh, consistently, but there were some things that I've messed up. So it's pretty good. Uh, Quartz Quadrant 3 is well, what I like to call the treadmill, and we'll see why. Um, this is just one of those stages where you're just never gonna lose time. It's pretty much an auto scroller boss. <laughs> Voice, wow. Um, Voice crack. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just work out Tails a bit, Robonic's just watching as his machine kind of just destroys himself. Um, Tails is working on leg day everyone, so be like Tails. Tails beat you up. You don't want to get beaten up by Tails, he'll... Ooh. He can fly, I'm just saying, he can fly. All he has to do is grab you, and that's it. That's it. Yeah, can you fly? Yeah. I didn't think so. I Tails don't. can fly. I, I wish I could fly. fly. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a little weird to fly with your butt, though. But I mean, Tails. You Tails could. Is... I would still take that. Being it's... able to fly with the power of your booty sounds amazing. You know, when you put it like that, honestly. I can't argue at all. <laughs> um, so Workbench 1 is a notorious stage uh, for both Sonic and Tails runners. Um, yeah, the, so the floor has this ability to bounce you all the way to the ceiling. Um, it is specifically designed for this to happen to you all the time, everywhere. And so it's navigating these platform cycles and everything else in the stage to just pretty much use them only when you absolutely need to to get through. Um, it's pretty crazy for both uh, Sonic and Tails. Uh, and this last section here has these like kind of snake blocks, um, kind of on a weird cycle. Uh, pretty rough to deal with. It's honestly a pretty difficult stage. I did call it though. I I said I was doing really well in um in Michael Bench One uh, practicing, and I said to myself, I'm, I'm gonna get like a thirty something in in my practice. So I'm gonna get like a fifty two in a actual marathon. It's close enough. Only five seconds off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, marathons. They're, uh, they're they can be something. Zone 2 is a little bit simpler, uh, so you can see here he's actually using the bounce pads um, combined with Tails Flight to just go straight to the next section, and uh, oh, yeah, he's, he's already at the good. end of the stage. Yeah, not bad. Um, but unfortunately, the, uh, the difficulty workbench is not yet over. That is correct. Oh boy, the amount of runs that have ended to this 
stage entirely. Too many to count. So, uh, the stage itself is pretty tricky. Um, he can just fly up there, but uh, you want to hit that ramp down there. Fortunately, he missed the jump off of it. Um, he still didn't hit the first bounce pad. There's a boss. So this is something that Sonic can't do. Okay, nice, he gets a first platform. Um, this is probably one of the main things that actually makes Tails a faster run. He did get the platform, but didn't get quite a good jump. Still, one platform's pretty good. Quick, quick, get it! Ah. Uh, almost had the Ooh. second. Almost. Just a little bit early there. Um, but still, one platform is really good. Um, very nice boss. This is probably the hardest boss for Tails. I've always had trouble with this. Um, it's difficult. It is super difficult. Yeah. As I said earlier, the amount of ones I've lost, the amount of PB pace ones I've lost purely for that boss alone, once I learned how to do that, is. Probably in the hundreds. I'm not even exaggerating by saying that. Yeah, it kind of sad because it's uh, pretty much near the end of the game, or a little bit in the middle. Um, yeah, I've lost plenty of runs to just wacky workbench one. It's just a troubling area in general, no matter who you are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sort of Speedway 1 was a thing, <laughs> uh, used speed shoots yet again, speed shoots seem to be plentiful in, uh, dual player. Uh, it's just flowing around the boss. Uh, there's a way that I can, um, make this zone a little bit faster, but if not then I'll just be doing RTA strats. Nice. 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 24, let's go. <clears throat> nice one, dude. I'm just uh, letting you know that Cronin was taken away for uh, streaming things. Oh, he's back. Never mind. Hi, I was abducted. Hi. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> um. Matthew, real quick, uh, uh, did you want Jasper here? Uh, yeah, that's fine, bring him in. He's like kind of, he, well, not rival per se, but he, uh, Jasper the Fish is the person who me and him were basically uh, doing uh, races against each other to improve each other's time. So he's one of the reasons why I have a time that's as good as it is now. So I'm kind of grateful oh, cool. for him. Okay. Hello everyone. Hello. Oh hi. Ow. Uh, so what's the stage you on now? Uh, Speedo 3. Uh, Metal Sonic 5. Oh cool. And I've gotten hit twice. Yay! Um, so, the interesting thing about this stage is, it is, it doesn't look like it, but it's kind of an auto-scroller. Um, the only parts that you can really speed up are before and after the race itself. Um, but the race just goes at a set pace, even if you're before, uh, or after, or ahead, sorry, uh, ahead or behind Metal Sonic. Um, the only problem is if Robotic catches up to you and kills you, but it's a free, all you have to do is memorize the stage and it's free. Yeah, the um, thing that uh, Metal Sonic does um, on this stage is that he rubber bands onto you, other than like uh, randomly killing you, um, as opposed to 93. Yeah, 93, uh, obviously with Tails, the uh, fight is... Wow, that flight was dreadful. Uh, the, fl the fight with uh, Robotnik, the fight with Metal Sonic in 93 is a lot harder in, in 11, even with Sonic. Okay. So, uh, Metallic Man is one, um, pretty, uh, small little tunnels, uh, you have to navigate through, um, requires some pretty precise movement, 
uh, from the beginning is trying to fly all the way to the tunnel. <laughs> Which uh, I did poorly. <laughs> <laughs> well, like no no speed whatsoever, just like a normal flight. Oh, okay. Thanks. Um, so Metallic Man is two. Uh, here, uh, for the last time, he's going to go over the stage, but first he has to get to the point where he can do that. Um, which is right here. Simply fly up and just go all the way to the end. Uh, this is a. Uh, what's the word? Leisure? It's not the word, but Sonic can't really do this. He has to uh, get a jump from one of those pistons to get all the way over there, but Tails. Which I found oh, right that um, doing it with Sonic can be faster than doing it with Tails purely because uh, pure execution and uh, the peel out. Uh, but a 32 is pretty decent for uh, this. Uh, with that, I don't really go down and spin dash. Don't know. I'd, I'd rather have the lightning. I mean, the invincibility box. <laughs> Failed to it twice. That's. Amazing. Alright, so um, for Metallic Man is free. Um, this is, fun yeah. fact, this is the only stage with a bottomless pit in it. Which is quite convenient because it's the final level. You're probably not seeing it yet, but um, when he gets to it, um, this boss right here is pretty easy. It's pretty easy, but the trick to speed it up a little bit is significantly harder for Tails. It's uh, for Sonic, I believe it's somewhere in the region of uh, seconds or like a second to get it. With Tails it's frames. Oh, well. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I could have got it anyway with him spinning. Yeah, the um... The timing on the double hit with Tails is a lot more... Um... I'll say this, the, the amount of times that I've lost PBs purely for not getting two hit is not as much as uh, getting a uh, free cycle, but it really is annoying getting all the way to the end of the run and then just losing it purely for like missing it by a couple frames. But Quodin probably has that problem on like a stage by stage basis. But uh, anyway, time is coming up now. Sorry for not, not saying it, but yeah, that's Sonic CD. Uh, Tails saved the GG. day because Tails is the best Sonic character. Don't at me. <laughs> and unlike uh, and unlike uh, Sonic uh, Sonic story, uh, Tails doesn't get like a ending cutscene. He just goes straight to credits because he's all about speed. <laughs> right. Uh, I mean, cutscenes don't really matter in yeah, this game. Yeah, true. Uh, They're just like anime cinematics. What else can I say? Yeah, I mean, this game is very anime. <laughs> right, uh, uh, that was the one. I also should remind you, your RTA is 2110. Twen 21 in a Murphan is actually really good. Wow. Uh, I want to say uh, a couple of shout outs before I say off. I want to say thanks to. Uh, Quodun for doing commentating and Jasper for coming in uh, doing a little bit of commentating for uh, Metallic Madness. I want to thank uh, Pancakes and Blizz and Shentok and Chubbus and Adrian, uh, all the organisers here at Blaster Process. Uh, I want to say thank you for actually letting me to run in Blaster Process. Uh, that would, uh, that helps a lot. And I want to give a quick shout out to um, Jessica, uh, Jessica who's in my Discord, uh, I just want to say thanks for always being there for me, uh, you're basically one of the reasons why I'm still speedrunning, even though I'm still fairly new to the speedrunning scene, you're one of the reasons why I'm still, like, going along, still doing it. Right, so, uh, I guess that's it for me, I guess, uh, it's been Mother Tim Wilson, uh, with... Uh, Crowdoon and Jasper for commentating. Uh, stick around cause since the Sonic block isn't over yet. We have Big John uh, doing Sonic 3D Blast, which is really an interesting speed on to watch. So stay tuned for that.
But, uh... Why, why am I even here? <laughs> I get... I, I, I should just go to bed. Good night. I'll see, see you all in the office. I'll see you I'll go to bed. Take, nope, take, take, I'm, I'm going to... Hosting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. We'll be back in just a moment.